Have you ever thought about death? Either your death, or the death of other people in other places at other times? Of course you have. That's why you have registered for the archaeology of death. Welcome. Death is, so to speak, an essential part of human life. It's an incredibly interesting topic. We, as archaeologists and forensic specialists, learn a great deal about how society treats itself through how it treats the dead. But it's also a controversial topic. And in this unit, we're going to cover a wide range of topics. We're literally going to go beneath the surface. In the background, you see an apparent idyllic island scene. But what you're seeing is um, the scene of mass murder. This is Beacon Isle in the Abrolhos Islands of Western Australia, where the survivors of the Batavia wreck that wrecked in 1629 found themselves and organized themselves and later um, killed each other. The Western Australian Museum back in the 1960s initiated research here and since then have used partners including UWA Archaeology and the Centre for Forensic Anthropology and as a group are now doing cutting edge research on what's going on there. And I'm just at this stage going to um, switch to a video on this, on the Batavia's Mysteries produced by UWA. Um, I'll just put the sound off so that you can see some of the visuals in the back and how archaeologists and forensic specialists go about their work. It's important work and it has to be done in the right way by specialists, one of whom you're seeing here, Elle Patterson, who will be one of your lecturers, um, together with uh, Dan Franklin from the Centre for Forensic Anthropology and his colleague um, Ambika Flavel, who will talk about a Venice 16th century Venice plague cemetery, as well as war and violent deaths. Martin Paul will join us to give us a European perspective of shamans, burials, Stonehenge, and those kinds of things. I'll give you additional lectures on things like Ned Kelly, and here in Perth about uh, Jaegen and Windan and how they were buried and repatriated. We'll also have a look at an 1899 cold case um, that happened not 10 minutes walk away from campus. A brutal axe murder that has never been solved. We will go to the scene of the crime and try and reconstruct what happened there. And if we're extraordinarily lucky, um, bring some justice to the victim, Rosalinda Fox, who was, who was so murdered. So this is a very interesting course. There are lots of issues around health, safety, ethics, display, and about science. We've got an astonishing array of new techniques where we can ask new questions of old bones, as it were. So we range throughout the world, and we have a focus in Australia, and particularly in Western Australia. It's, it's a, it's, the course itself is a lot of fun. What we need you to do is have a look at the LMS, the Learning Management System, and familiarise yourself with the course content and also um, with the assessment protocols and how to get hold of us. Obviously, we'll meet for our weekly lectures and tutorials. Tutorials are compulsory. Weekly lectures are captured, um, but we do ask uh, that you come to them because we really value the group work, their interaction, the different ideas that go around. So I'm going to flick back. I'm going to flick to our LMS. So this is the learning management system. You've just seen the welcome video there. We also have the staff. You can see the, the sort of, apart from self, of course, the all-star cast that you have, your tutors, your lecturers, how to get hold of them, uh, the schedule in terms of where and when we meet, and also what the weekly topics are, who's lecturing, what the tutorials are, and what assessment is due. So um, for assessment, we'll get straight into assessment um, you have your overview over there. Uh, there are three kinds of assessment for this unit. So there are, firstly, there are weekly online quizzes. Before you come to each week's lecture, you need to have completed the quiz. The quiz closes by the time the lecture starts. And if you haven't completed the quiz, then that's it, you get zero. But we don't like punitive marking. We just want you to know what the lecture content is about. So the lecture as a PDF will be available before the lecture. And the readings, the one to two readings you have for each week, the quiz is based on those. You access the quiz here via the LMS. So you'll go into, um, into your assessments. You'll see there the different kinds of assessments. There's weekly quizzes. You click on weekly quizzes. At the moment, only the first quiz is showing on origins and cultural conceptions of death. You do that three um, true or multiple choice questions, one true or false question, and a picture that you have to react to is the typical format of the quizzes. Um, the other um, form of assessment is then a presentation. At each tutorial from week three, 
Uh, two to three people will give short five to eight minute presentations on that week's tutorial topic. You are then graded to the tune of 20% of your unit mark on that presentation and receive both peer and tutor feedback on the good parts and the parts to improve on your presentation, which you then translate into an essay. Uh, it's approximately three to 4,000 word essay on that topic that you hand in two to three weeks after you give your presentation and that constitutes the rest of your marks. So no exams, those are the three forms of um, assessment for this unit. This tab, learning material, is very important because surprise, surprise, that's where the learning material is. So we'll meet, we'll go over organization of the unit, what it's about, and then we'll go top to toe through death, from where we think the origins of death, at least in the human experience of it, the ritualization, the different ways of disposing of bodies, etc., started, go into how bioarchaeology does its work, look at beliefs around death, grave goods, those kinds of things. Also have a look in a democratic way at the people who don't always get looked at. Everyone looks at the pharaohs and the important dead, but what about women, what about children, what about criminals, and um, what about the Neanderthals for that matter? So we'll have a look at that. Then you have your study break. Um, then we do look at the important deaths, the monumental deaths, um, terracotta armies in China, Mayan uh, pyramids, Gobeki Tepe, this fantastic site from Turkey that uh, upsets a whole lot of assumptions about death and uh, human behavior. We then move on to some research, cutting edge research from UWA on the Batavia, a two week special on that. Then we go in time, or closer in time to the historic time, so Ned Kelly and here in Perth, uh, the indigenous leader Yagen and the important indigenous woman Windan, um, plus some others, the Sydney burial ground. We have a look at that plague cemetery, have a look at what happens in times of forensics and war and violent deaths and where we can be useful and what the future of death is, both in how we study it and in how our species is likely to handle the death, uh, deaths in the future. Um, did you know that 150,000 people a day die on earth? So what are we going to do? What on earth, literally, are we going to do with those burials? And then we have an outing where we go to the crime scene of the axe murder at Gallup House. So what the weeks look like, Call it war and violent deaths. You click on one of these. For nearly a century, a World War One is the informative video. So it's a very simple layout. There's the lecture that you can download. That's what the tutorial topic's about. These are what the case studies or examples that we're going to use in that week. You can see there are two required readings, a series of recommended readings. You'll note the readings are fairly short, so we do expect you to do the reading and the quiz before you come to class and to your tutorial. And then there are there's a selection of questions to guide your thinking on that week, and then some resource material, usually in the form of a video, about that topic. Now, I've probably forgotten a whole lot of things, but that doesn't matter. When we meet, bring all your questions and we'll go over them. Your tutors are also always online um, and in person, preferably, to ask questions of. And we look forward to, to your feedback and um, involvement in this unit. It's going to be a lot of fun. And um, uh, see you there come Monday. Thank you.